the M28 or M29 Davy Crockett weapon system was a tactical nuclear recoilless gun system used to fire the M388 nuclear projectile. It was one of the smallest nuclear weapon systems ever built, with a yield of between 0.1 or 0.2 kilotons, and was basically designed to be a battlefield deployable nuke so that small infantry units could attack enemy infantry units or armored formations with maximum effect. Production of the Davy Crockett system was began in 1958 and over 2,100 of the systems were built. The system was tested at Poakaloa training area in Hawaii Island with spotter rounds instead of live warheads. The weapon system was deployed with the U.S. Army from 1961 to 1971, but it was removed from U.S. Army Europe in August of 1967. The M388 round used a version of the MK-54 warhead. It was a very small sub-kiloton fission device. The MK-54 weighed about 51 pounds, and the warhead had a selectable height of burst dial, so you could decide how high off the ground you wanted it to detonate. The M388 could be launched from either of two launchers known as the Davy Crockett Weapon System. The 4.7 inch M2, M28 with a range of about 1.25 miles, or the M29 with a range of about 2.5 miles. Both weapons used the same projectile and were either mounted on a tripod or transported by an armored personnel carrier or mounted to the back of a jeep. The Davy Crockett's were operated by a three-man crew and the units could carry the Davy Crockett system that they were all heavy mortar platoons, um, both mechanized and conventional infantry. So these were filled units. The two tests of the weapon system in July of 1962 would be the last two atmospheric atomic tests performed at the Nevada test site. The two tests were codenamed Little Failure 1 and Little Failure 2. Both the M28 and M29 proved to have pretty bad accuracy in testing, so the shell's greatest effect would have been its extreme radiation hazard. It was, it was a pretty dirty weapon. The M388 would produce an almost instantly lethal dosage within about 500 feet and a probably fatal dose within a quarter mile. I'm not really sure how accurate you have to be when you're basically lobbing 20 tons of TNT at a target, but, you know. The Davy Crockett M388 was probably one of the more interesting weapon systems of the Cold War era. The thought of basically a mortar platoon having the ability to lob that type of firepower in the field is pretty crazy to think about nowadays.